Hello and welcome back to this channel. So today's tutorial is going to be about using the oil brushes in Adobe Fresco. So we'll be painting some flowers using various techniques in oil brushes. So let's just get started. I'm going to start off using a small postcard that is 6 into 4.25 inches and 300 ppi. If you cannot see this in your Fresco homepage, what you can do is you can click on custom size and select inches here and give whatever size you want and ppi you want and click create. So let's just go ahead and click on that. So one thing I want to tell you is you don't need to know how to draw for this tutorial because we're going to be essentially painting. I'm going to give you the sketch as well and uh, you can go ahead and download it. So first of all, let's bring in the colors for this tutorial. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on my image icon right here and go to photos and I'll go to all photos and bring in my color. So once you have it, you can just click on done. So now I'm going to tell you how to choose or put these colors in your palette. So the easiest way to do that is you can click and hold and it's going to select that color and you can click on the color here and go to your recents and just click on plus button and then it's going to add that color to your palette. So we'll do the same thing for others. Okay, we're done. Just to let you know, I might be using more colors than these six colors here. Uh, that's because I haven't started illustrating and once I start painting, I'll know what I need or what colors I need more. So I'm going to be sharing this color palette with you guys. You can find the link in the description box below. There might be a lot more colors in this, so be ready for that. And now I'm going to go ahead and bring in my sketch. So usually when I paint such paintings, I don't start off with a sketch. I just roughly start painting. But I know that a lot of you would like a sketch. So here you go. Uh, click on the image again, go to photos and let's bring that. And now if your artboard is much bigger than the size of the image or something like that, you can always use this button here to increase or decrease the size. And once you're done, click on done. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on plus and it's time to bring in our oil brushes. So let's go to the second option here, click on it and click on oil and we'll start off with something called as oil paint chunky and I'm going to keep the size to about 90 and the color is going to be, let's start off with yellow and then make sure if you click on here, you'll see the flow to 100 and now let's go ahead and just draw on this. Make sure you're on a new layer and just draw. And the way you paint is you just make sure that you have this outer thing covered. Don't worry if it goes a little outside or a little inside and stuff like that. It really doesn't matter. Just go in circles or semicircles like this. So that and don't paint it like this because you'll see the strokes and we don't want the flowers to have that kind of stroke. You can use a two finger tap to undo whatever you want or you can also use these buttons over here. Let me just undo that and now I'll just paint this. Okay, once you're done with that, now we're going to go ahead and select a little darker yellow or orange in this case. And now there are a few more settings that you need to know. So this is called as paint mix. So if you have set it to like something like phi and when you do this, you can see the orange really nice and bright. But if you have set it all the way to 100, you won't see the orange that much because it's mixing so much with the yellow. So we're going to go ahead and keep it around 40s, 36, maybe a little lower and that should be fine. But there's one more thing that you need to know. So go ahead and click on this setting right here and there's this option called as reload color. So what this means is that when you try to draw something, for example, when I'm drawing like this and now I've lifted the pencil and then I'm going to try and draw again, it's going to start off with orange. That means once the stroke was over, it reloaded the color and then it started off coloring it. If I go ahead and uncheck this one, now if I take like this and draw, now my paint color on the brush is somewhat a mix of orange and yellow. So it didn't reload the color, but it's going to start off with the color that was already mixed. So it basically behaves like a actual paint brush. Now if I go ahead and reload color and if I do this, and now it is mixed with yellow and orange. But if I go ahead and draw, it's going to be orange because you know it reloaded the color. So this is an important aspect that you should remember when you're trying to work with these oil paint tools. So let's go ahead and quickly look at these settings over here a little bit. 
uh, because we're not going to dwell into how to change our brushes and stuff like that. That's like we'll do it much later. But I just wanted to show you one setting here called as a canvas texture. So by default, if you don't get this texture or something, you can just go here and there's an option called as none. So when you try to draw with this, I don't know if you can see this. So when you make it very light, let me do two of them so that you'll have an idea of how it looks. Okay, I hope you can see this. Okay, this is with the canvas texture turned on and this is with the canvas texture turned off. So what this basically means is, you know, this canvas, the white canvas that you get on which you paint, like in an actual painting with paints and brushes. So when you're trying to draw or paint like very light strokes, you can actually see the texture of the canvas behind it. So that's what they're implying here. But when you turn that off, it's going to be plain and um, you can still see the brush strokes, but you cannot see the texture of the canvas. So that's what it means. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on to canvas because I kind of like that setting, although I'm not using it in most of the places because it's too thick, so you can't see it anyway. But I'm going to undo all of this right now because it's a lot of mess that I've created. So now we are set to orange and now it's time to edit this one. And I'm going to make some semicircles. So if you really want the sketch right now, because I know a lot of people might find this a little difficult to work with, you can just click on the sketch layer and bring it all the way up until you see this blue horizontal line and let go. Okay, so we can't see anything below. That's because I brought in a JPEG instead of a PNG. So the background is not transparent, so you can't see your painting at all. So let me quickly fix that. Okay, so I got in the transparent or the PNG version of the sketch. And now you can see all the colors and everything right here because that's how it should work. It should not have any background and then you can actually work with it. So I'm just going to click on my layer of colors, which I don't want anymore. I can either choose to delete it, but I'm going to keep it because I want to record all the colors by the end of this tutorial to send it to you guys. So I'm just going to click on this eye here so that it gets hidden. I think the sketch is way too dark because you can't really see what's happening beneath it. So what I'm going to do is click on your sketch layer and click on these levels right here. And let's reduce the opacity to a little bit lower so that it's a little more obvious like what we are doing and stuff like that. Okay, now coming back to orange, go back to your yellow rose layer and i'm going to draw some more over here oops make sure you're on the right brush and let's go ahead and do this so when you're doing this uh don't just do one stroke like this and uh, try to like kind of mix in like this so basically you are going around in this sketch lines that i've shown here like this Okay, that looks fine. And now it's time to bring in our different brush called as the oil paint detail. And this one I've set it to around 50. And now we're going to go ahead and make some swirlies. So we're not going to do this to the whole thing, but we're going to do something like this. Okay, and now I'll go ahead and uncheck the sketch layer just to take a look at how our flower looks. This looks okay. And now let's click on one more layer and I'll go and do this because I want to look at the other flower. So click on this and let's take this pink color that you have. Uh, go back to oil paint chunky and let's do this. All right, and now I'm going to go ahead and select a darker version of that pink or red, whatever I have, and go ahead and make some swirlies like this. Let's make the center a bit darker, just because like that. Okay, now let's go to oil paint detail. Do you see that actually it switched to 50 as soon as we switch the brush because it's going to remember the setting so you don't have to do it every time you select that brush. Okay, that seems good. All right, so now we're going to do leaves. So I'll just click on new layer and I'm going to bring it down here. So make sure you don't go ahead and put it on the layer like this. It's going to merge it. That's the easiest way to merge, by the way. But when you come in between, you can see this horizontal line. So drop it over there. So leaves are one of my favorite things to draw because we're going to do some blending over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and select my lightest green that I have. And we'll start off with this leaf over here. So I'm just going to go to chunky paint. And if this is a big brush for you, 
go ahead and reduce this size it's totally okay whatever you're comfortable with so we're gonna try see this is too big so let's keep it at 45 and uh, let's draw this so i'm just going to use the front part for light green and now i'll go ahead and change it to the dark green and don't worry about it getting on the yellow flower because we're going to move the layer down later so and you can see it's mixing here but it's not mixing that well right so what we're going to do is we're going to mix it in a different way so let's go to our brush tool here again and there's something called as oil pen glaze which i love by the way i'm going to reduce this about 140 and then slowly make this like this so we have the darker green here so it's going to start off with that and uh, if you feel like that's a little too much you can always switch to the lighter green and then do this So this is basically how our green looks like right now. So we're going to do that for all the leaves right here. So your dark green is going to be somewhere towards the bottom edge of the leaf. So it'll be here, here and here. And also there's one more thing that you want to know that when you have two leaves overlapping like this, you would want to have some dark color. Let's go back to that brush. Over here as well, everywhere where the leaf is getting overlapped, something like this. And don't worry, you can go ahead and give in all the dark colors first and come back and then give the light colors because, hey, this is digital tool. So, you know, nothing's going to dry on you. And you can use your fingers to, you know, roll around and stuff like that. Use, do like whatever's comfortable for you. Okay. So let's go ahead and take the lighter green. And you have to be on the same layer for this. You can't have the lighter green on a different layer if you want to like blend them together. So I need some green here. So that it kind of separates out these two leaves okay let's go to our glaze brush and then i'm on the lighter green because i'm gonna start here as you can see the glaze takes off the texture a little bit you know, if you want to retain the texture, what you can do is instead of using the glaze, you can use Chunky. That's the oil paint Chunky brush and increase the size while trying to mix these two. For example, I'm just going to show you how to do that. Let's go to oil paint Chunky and let's increase the size to about 90 or something. And now you can do this like this as well. I think I should have put dark one. Okay, I think our leaves are ready. So let's go ahead and move this all the way down behind the flower so that it looks something like this. So our next up are these tiny flowers. So like I told you, I don't have all those colors chosen here, but I'm thinking that maybe I'll make it a little pinkish in color. So you can scroll down and go here and bring this all the way up so it's nice and bright and pink. Uh, if you don't want pink, you can choose whatever color you want. Uh, it really doesn't matter. Maybe we could do some blue. Uh, and then let's go to our chunky. It's fine, but I think we might have to reduce this because, okay, that looks fine. So let's go ahead and create a new layer. Don't forget to do that because otherwise you'll be mixing your greens in there. I think these can be blueberries. What do you guys think? Let's make it into blueberries, but not all of them. Uh, let's keep some for some other berries.
Yeah, let's make everything blue. I changed my mind. And here it's not really nice, so I'm just going to make this into more blueberries. Okay, so I'm going to bring it behind the leaves because I need to know where I need to add shadows. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on um, a darker version of this color. Just bring this down and you'll get a darker version. So what you can do is you're going to add shadows wherever there's a blueberry that's being overlapped. For example, in here, we're going to add shadow here. But this is too big. And uh, let's go ahead and reuse this. Yeah, something like this. This is where we're going to add a shadow. And then we're going to mix this up a little bit so that it... Oops, I'm just going to add a bit of shadow here as well. Here, because it's getting overlapped from the flower. And this one, this is probably completely dark because it's like completely overlapped. Oops. So by the way, if you feel like you don't want to get out of the blueberry layer, like for example, I went here like this, you don't want to do that mistake, you can apply a mask here. So in my previous fresco tutorial, I showed you how to use layer masks to do such things. If you haven't watched that video yet, go ahead and watch it. I will link it in the description box below and in the card as well. Don't worry, we are not going to leave it like sharp like that uh, we will modify it in a while okay i'm going to go ahead and go to my glaze because uh, i kind of like it so i'll reduce this and kind of try to mix this but i want the lighter blue so i can just click and hold and select it and then mix it up and then in all paint chunky let's just reduce this a little bit maybe and try if we can mix this This is too tiny. Let's increase this to about 50. Okay, so uh, this thing is ready, but if it's blueberries, uh, we need some kind of a, you know, dark spot right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, you could bring it all the way down to make it much, 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 much darker. And now we can either put it on this, like this, or I'm just going to go ahead and uncheck the stroke because I want to see how it looks if I just put it here or if I go ahead and put it on a new layer. So you see the difference that it makes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check this back again and I'm going to go ahead and put it oops, on this layer itself. Let's go ahead and uncheck this. Okay, that looks good. And so now I'm going to go ahead, click on these things here and increase the opacity to completely like full. So this is how it looks when it's completely dark. So now we are gonna go ahead and give it some, let's just say a character or something like that. So let's click on the news layer. Let's start off with that, I guess. And now I'm going to go ahead and select the dark green that I have. You can choose the light green if you want. It's totally up to you. And I'm going to go ahead and go to my oil paint detail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some strokes. So I'm going to add it so that I match the sketch layer. So like that. So I'm just going to uncheck that and check how it looks. So you can use this. You can use light color, something like this. It'll look good too or the another option that everybody kind of misses out is using a completely white uh, technique so that looks good too like this so if you feel like you don't need this green outline but you know a black outline would good, look good as well that's fine as well but i personally like the green uh, outline sort of a thing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back and select that green because i like the dark green version and maybe reduce the size to about 36 or something and i'll draw the outlines 
and you can notice that i'm not drawing it exactly like the painting is uh, because i kind of like that style where your strokes go outside your painting okay so if i uncheck this just look like that and now we're going to go ahead and do the blueberries let's click on that click on new layer and remember if you go here and click on recents you have the dark blue that you already had before so we'll just use that Okay, and now it's time for the uh, roses. You can either choose to leave it like that because I think they look pretty fine just on their own. But if you want, you can also add some highlights to that as well. So let's just go ahead and do that. I'm just going to go ahead and select the orange and see if it works actually because I don't know if it'll look good or maybe it does. So maybe i don't like that so probably i'm going to make it a little more orange or something like this okay make sure you put it on a completely different layer because you can uncheck and you know hide it if you don't like it let's now go to the red one and i'll try to make it even more darker So I guess that's it. That brings us to the end of this tutorial and I'm not happy with the orange one. So I'm just going to uncheck that and even this one. This one looks okay. It looks good. I guess, um, yeah, let's just keep it like this. So once you're ready with that, you can go ahead and export it. That is click on this button right here and click on publish and export. And in here, you click on export as. And if you want a background for this, you can uh, just export it as JPEG as well. But if you don't want it, you can export it as PNG. But before that let's go ahead here and make sure you click on your background layer and click on i button here so that your background is not visible before exporting as a png and uh, that's it that's it about the oil paint brushes i mean obviously there's a lot of things that you can do with these brushes apart from the reload color and stuff like that you can change this and stuff like this as well but i'm going to reset it i hope you like this tutorial and if you did please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, i hope you create a lot of beautiful things with this brush because it's a really wonderful brush like you can look at look at that texture that's just amazing so in my previous video i actually covered how to paint with watercolor brushes that is these brushes right here so if you want to go check it out, the link is in the description box as well. I guess I'll see you in the next video then. Bye-bye.